first thing we're going to do is create a Kubernetes cluster. I will create the cluster in Toronto, click the latest version of Kubernetes. And here I will customize the node pool. I will name it Event Sarah Learn. So each droplet in the node pool will start with this name. Um, and I will leave everything the standard $10 a month per node, two gigs of RAM, and three nodes in this cluster. I will also add some tags. And I will choose the name of the cluster to also be Eventsera Learn. And then I will create the cluster. Once the cluster has been created, you will be taken to this page. Here, you can see all the nodes. As you can see, they all start with the Eventsera Learn prefix. You can get insights. You, can, you have some settings. I'm going to enable automatic updates. And I want it to happen in any day after 3 a.m. Congratulations. Now your digital oceans Kubernetes cluster is up and running. Here we are installing the DOCTL command line utility, which will make it a little bit easier to use kubectl with the Kubernetes cluster we just created. Once you have Doctal installed and set up, you can get a list of your Kubernetes clusters with DOCTL, Kubernetes cluster list. Here I see the Evansera Learn cluster, which is the one I will be using today. The main reason I downloaded Doctal was to make it easy to save the Kubernetes cube config file. I will do that by doing the following command. Doctal Kubernetes cluster cube config save and I will take the one I want. Now I will confirm that the current config is set to the one I just saved by saying kubectl config current context. Okay, so now I'm ready to go. To import my DigitalOcean Kubernetes cluster, I will go to my Rancher install, hit add cluster, and I will be importing a cluster. I will name the cluster. And I will hit create. Now I can copy this command, go into my command line, and paste it in. Now go back to Rancher and click Done. Congratulations, your cluster has now been imported.